Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video training series. Yes, it's brought to you by the ITVideos.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can have this editor known as CKE editor or CK editor or SCK editor, whatever you want to call it. And I'm running an ASP.NET page as you can see with the extension that says ASPX and edit is the name of the page. And I'm running it on my local host and what I have is my seek editor is already set up and I'm going to be showing you step by step. That's right, I'm going to be demonstrating how I have set up or uh, used the uh, seek editor or how I installed it in my application. So uh, let's say I can type this is a simple text. I can uh, bold it, uh, italicize it. I can change the alignment to left, center, right, right, and uh, we can do. I can even uh, find. Let's say if I know, if I want to find for a text, this is simple. And uh, there you go. It uh, found the, uh, the text that you are looking for. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to sh be showing you step by step how it is done. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the website called seekeditor.com and this is the website that will be open and you go to the download link right here and look for a section called seekeditor for ASP.NET that's right this is the file that we're talking about here so you just click on this one and it will start downloading the file I've already downloaded the file here that says 361 version 361 seekeditor for ASP.NET 361 so it is about 1.2 MB so once it is downloaded you can uh, just double click it to see the contents inside the, uh, uh, the file we are basically concerned with two files the inside the bin release DLL we need to include the DLL inside our inside our solution or the project and we need to have the folder called seek editor inside our our uh, solution so let's do that step by step okay uh, now this is the uh, the source file of my project so first we need to extract the DLL right here I have done this thing right here by the way if you guys are lost don't be because this is the uh, location of my ASP.NET file or my ASP.NET project okay so you don't even have to copy the DLL here but it's better to have it here so that you can you know right click and say add reference and then look for the DLL file so we have the DLL file here and you also need to have the seek editor file so you can find that if you go to samples this one so just drag and drop it here so it will be placed right here and uh, that's about it but there are two more things that you need to do. First is include the reference which I have already done here by right clicking on the solution explorer. Go to add reference and search for the DLL. And what, once that thing is done, you go to the very top. Just include this line here that says register. As a matter of fact, I'll show you where you can copy this one from. If you, inside the, uh, inside the folder or inside the uh, zip file you can double click the install and here it says step by step just copy this one in your ASPX file that is the edit.aspx file just copy this one here that will have the reference to the uh, seek editor and if you want to place this control this is my seek editor as you can see through the properties it says this is my seek editor 
So you get that by copying this one or inserting, copying this one in order to insert the CPA return instance into your page. Just copy this one and place this one right here, and uh, this will place the CK editor. So once that thing is done, you can save it and uh, run the project and uh, it should have if I go to the edit page because I have my control in my repo so that thing will be displayed here. So that was it. Video I hope it helped you out in uh, installing the CK editor in your ASP.NET page. So thanks for watching and please leave your comments down below. Have yourself a good day. Cheers.